Hey, this is Michael with X-Force PC. Wanted to give you an overview of Air Manager for the iPad. Um, it will be coming out on Android at some point, but right now it's iPad only. And again, I'm here to give you a bit of an overview. It's a fairly new release, so there, you know, the stuff you see here will probably be enhanced further in the future. So let's talk about this just a little bit. Um, I've got one of our triple display setups here and uh, we're in a 172 and then I've got an iPad Pro here and an iPad you know Air over here regular iPad over here Rear, uh, the Air Manager software is an, is an iPad app that runs obviously on the iPad and it talks to the computer through the network so you know the computer is on a wired network and and the um, iPads are on the same network but they're just connected via Wi-Fi and so I've got the simulation paused right now, but as you can see, if I go here, I'm, uh, you know, all my instruments and, and so forth are reacting as they should. And since I have my instruments down there, I can get rid of that ugly instrument panel and just have all uh, scenery out of, the, out of the window. Now, uh, you don't have to use two iPads, but you can. That's how I have it set up. And I have the, the Cessna panel here on this iPad Pro and there's a bunch of built-in panels. Um, one thing you could do with this um, iPad is, is since things are a little bit small you could play around with things a bit and I'm using just the pinch and, and zoom feature and I've kind of zoomed in on this part of the instrument panel to make it bigger because over here I'm running the radios. So I have all the radios over here so why not just cut that off over on this iPad and allow everything over here to be bigger. So that's exactly what I've done. Everything is touch enabled so you can, you know, grab onto the radio and you can change the channel and hit the active and standby button and tune all your radios. Over here we have COM and NAV 1 and 2 and a transponder. Um, this, these things are also touch enabled on the, uh, the main panel. And as I mentioned, there are tons of other panels available. You can just switch panels as um, you switch planes. So there's several pre-made panels. They have one for the Baron. They have one for the, the Baron B58. They have one for the Cessna 152, 172, the SR, the Cirrus SR-22, uh, excuse me, SR-22. They have uh, one for the Beach 1900D. Um, they have some 737 panels as well. And then last but not least, you can simply build your own panel because there's a whole list of instruments along this left side and you just grab those instruments and you drag them and you drop them onto a blank canvas if that's the way you want to do it. So I'm going to switch now to... switch to a Baron. And since I'm switching to the Baron, um, and I have my 172 panel here, I'm just going to swipe out from the left, and I'm going to go over and I'm going to find, where's my Baron? There it is right there. We have all of our panels just across the top here. Hide that menu, and there is my Baron panel. I do have the radios down here, but they're kind of small. So I still will probably want to use the radios over here since I have the second iPad, and you know, it's much bigger over here. Um, but you can use the ones down here. Again, as I mentioned earlier, two iPads are not required. Uh, let's take a look at one more plane. I'm going to go and open, uh, open up a B1900. And since I'm doing that, I'll just scroll over here and open up my B1900 six-pack. And over here on the second iPad, I have an engine panel. These were pre-made panels as well for the B1900. So you have your six-pack and some of your common uh, autopilot functions and common nav functions here. And then over here you have all of your instruments for your engines. Okay. And then um, what, we, what else have we got here? We've got the SR-22. We'll have a quick look at that. There's the SR-22 panel. So it's pretty flexible. I encourage you to download it. It's only a $15 download if you already have an iPad. 
download it, play with it, check it out. Um, it really is neat. And I know you can at least use two iPads. You may even be able to use three for all I know. If you have any questions, email me, michael at xforcepc.com. Again, that is michael at xforcepc.com.